super excited today to be making pickles for the first time and I'm going to be making two um, different so I'm going to be making the circles like sliced circles and the long sliced sandwich pickles um, so let's go ahead and get started okay so what I did to get started and I'm only doing a couple jars because that's all I had that was ready on my vines in the garden but what you're gonna want to do is slice them however you want so if you want them sliced circles go ahead and do that to your preferred thickness and then if you want slices like this go ahead and do that to your preferred thickness as well for sandwich pickles but what I did was I cut them up and I'm doing two different ones like you can see here so you're just gonna clean them cut the ends off of them and then slice them how you like put them in an ice bath which is what this is right here um, for about 30 minutes and that's where we are now so I'm going to show you the process from there also I cut up and peeled about about 10 garlics here so you're going to want to have that um, peeled and cut uh, the ends off as well and then we'll be ready to make our brine so let's go ahead and make our brine now okay so now what we're going to do on the stove in a pot is we're going to make the brine and for that you're going to need four cups of water and four cups of five percent distilled white vinegar and then you're going to need six tablespoons of coarse salt or canning pickling salt so that's what that looks like there so we're going to add all of that to our pot we're gonna bring it to a boil and that's gonna be the brine and then we will move on to filling the jars with the ingredients and putting the brine on it and then we will can it. So let's go ahead and make the brine. So we need four cups of water, four cups of 5% distilled white vinegar and six tablespoons of pickling salt. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like. You're gonna to wanna to just heat it up until it simmers and all of the salt in the water has dissolved and then it'll be ready to put into the pots or the uh, the jars okay so you can see that it has dissolved most of the salt I'm just gonna keep kind of stirring it around until it comes to a slight boil and then it will be ready to go and I will turn it off and put the lid on it and then we'll pack the jars. Okay, so while I'm waiting for that to come to a boil, I'm just gonna take my cucumbers from their bath and I'm just gonna kind of strain that the water out of the bowls as much as I can with both. And then we're going to pack the jars. So as soon as the brine is boiled, we'll be ready to fill the brine into the jars. So let's go over to the island and pack our jars. Okay, so I have my pickles here, both drained. I've got my garlic here. I don't know if you can see it. Let me show you. I've got my garlic here, and then I've got my mustard seed. So what we're gonna need now is your pickles, your garlic, and you're gonna need one teaspoon of mustard seed per jar. I think I'm only going to need four jars, so let's go with that. And now what I'm going to do is put one teaspoon of mustard seed, um, probably three garlics, um, and then stack and stuff your jars full of pickles. So we're going to do that, and then the brine should be ready and boiled, and we will put the brine on. So let's go ahead and do stuff our jars. Okay, so instead of continuing to film, you can see. So you're gonna st stuff them as full as you can, like this. I'm just gonna finish doing the sliced sandwich ones and then uh, we will put the brine on because the brine is boiled and ready to go. I think I'm gonna have to get out another jar or two because we still have a lot of these left. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish packing 
my cucumbers into the jars and then we will put the brine on. Okay, so I have my jars all filled here and I just did an extra one with the leftovers. I had a little bit of slice left and these left and I also added, I don't know if you can see in the bottom there, I put a couple jalapenos. So this is gonna be a spicy jar and these are just gonna be regularly dilled. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the brine from here, which has boiled. We're gonna use one of these here. You're gonna put it into your jar like this and you're gonna ladle the brine into the jars, leaving a half inch head space. So let's go ahead now and do that. Okay, so now you're just gonna take a knife and kind of just push it down. So if there's any trapped air or bubbles in the jar, they come up. You're just gonna kind of wiggle a knife down. This is called debubbling. So you kind of just put your knife down in, make sure there's no trapped air. That way you get a good seal on all of your, your pickles. A good seal, but also a good can on them. All right, so you just go like that. And then after this is done, I'm going to just kind of take a paper towel with some vinegar on it and just wipe the rims of the jars. And then I'm going to put the lids on finger tight and we're gonna put them into the canner. So let's go ahead and wipe the rims on these, put the seal and the ring and seal on finger tight and then we'll put them in the canner. Okay, so now you're gonna have your canner ready in some water and this water in this is hot not boiling but hot I'm gonna turn it on let it get started here but now I'm gonna take these and put them into the rack on here and we'll drop them down into the water making sure there's about one to two inches above the cans and then once it comes to a boil they're gonna process for 10 minutes so let's go ahead and put them in Okay, so there they are sitting in. I'm gonna drop them down in. They're dropped down in. I'll just show you for reference. There's about that much water above the lid. A little bit more than you should have, but that's okay. So now I'm gonna let this come to a boil. I'm just gonna put the lid on. So now that the lid's on, I'm gonna let it come to a boil. Once it starts boiling, I'm gonna set my timer for 10 minutes. And then as soon as they're done boiling, I'm gonna lift that rack back up, let them sit for a second, and then take them out and put them onto a, um, what do you call it? One of these, a <laughs> dish rag, <laughs> and do a dish rag. So I'll show you what I mean when it comes to a boil, and then um, we'll set the timer for 10 minutes. Okay, so it just came to a boil. I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes and I'll see you back here. Whoop, there's the timer. I'll see you back here when it's done. Okay, so it's done. I'm gonna turn it off. Lift the lid. And then let's pull the rack up and we will take them out. Okay, so there we go. They're all sitting here. Now we're just going to leave them for 12 to 24 hours. Don't touch them. Just leave them here. And then we'll check the seals. This one it's looking a little bit bent. I've never had that before, so I'm gonna see what's going on with that. We'll check the seal uh, tomorrow probably, or the next day. We'll let them sit here for a day or two. And then, um, yeah, pretty easy. And they look awesome.
So there you go, guys. That is how you make um, some pickles with fresh um, cucumbers, canning cucumbers, whatever you want, to, pickling cucumbers, whatever cucumbers you want to use, I guess. The sliced cucumbers here, the circles, they were actually cucumbers that were like this long, but grown from the garden. These ones that are sliced long ways are pickling cucumbers. So we'll see the difference between them, but I'm super excited for doing this. It's kind of cool because it doesn't take really long. Um, all of maybe an hour through the, th the full process, just with it waiting in the ice bath and whatnot. So yeah, give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. Um, let me know if you love it. I've never done this recipe. I'm super excited myself to see how it actually um, turned out with all of the, the pickles here, but they look good. Um, the seals all look good except that one. I hope that, yeah, I don't know, that's weird, it's buckled. And I was just talking to a friend at the dog groomers the other day and I brought her a can of peaches and she's like, are your seals turning out this year? Mine are all buckling. And I'm like, no, I've never had that. And then look at this. And that's a new seal in a new jar, so not sure. But anyways, thank you guys so much for following along. You're gonna keep these on the shelf for anywhere from six to eight weeks before opening them. Um, so you can really get that flavor and they they become seasoned um, and then once you open them you're going to want to make sure that you refrigerate them so there you go guys oh okay that just popped the one that's bent just popped i don't know if you heard that <laughs> but anyways thank you guys so much for following along i absolutely love canning love doing all of this stuff Love doing first and new things with you guys and documenting it and showing you. Now it just popped the other way and it's not bent anymore. Can you see this one right here? It's not bent. That's weird. Okay, maybe it sealed itself. <laughs> but anyways, um, thank you guys for following along. If you have any questions, drop them down below in the comments. If you have anything else or just comments, drop them down below. And uh, like this video, share it out to somebody who you know who loves pickles, sandwich pickles, sliced pickles, dill pickles, spear pickles, any way you want to cut them pickles. <laughs> and uh, give them a peek at this one, maybe they'll like it. As always guys, ring that bell, subscribe so you never miss a video. And I will see you guys back here next time. And we're going to be doing a lot of canning because everything's maturing and coming off the vines. So... Anyways, see you guys back here next time. Bye.